On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about the Q&A that was happening on Reddit. It was very interesting, but now we're going to be moving on to the next topic. For today's video, we're going to be talking about motion capture. Motion capture is very common. It's used amongst indie developers and AAA developers. Motion capture, or mocap for short, is the process of recording the movement of options or people. It is used in military, entertainment, sports, medical applications, and for validation of computer vision and robotics. In filmmaking and video game development, it refers to recording actions of human actors and using that information to animate digital character models in 2D or 3D computer animations. The reason why we're talking about motion capture is because it was mentioned in Void Interactive's webpage. Quote, you invested in high-end optical motion capture cameras used on titles such as Star Citizen, Metal Gear Solid 5, etc. Our animator has been hard at work setting up all the necessary tools to record and process the vast amount of animations we require for Ready or Not. So far the results have proven to be incredible with a high frame rate, output, and minimal cleanup. The plan will be to use these tools to their maximum ability, meaning we're planning on also recording facial motion capture and recording some truly long and truly gruesome animations. So when we think about facial animations, we could look at a game like L.A. Noir. If you're wondering why I keep saying L.A. Noir, it's because I don't think I've actually seen a game that does good facial animations in-game. Usually I only see it in like cutscenes, but who knows, we'll see when the game comes out. When it comes to gruesome animations, the only time that I've ever actually seen something that's like that, uh, you know, used in, in a game, would probably be Gears of War. Like, that's the only one that I could really point to, because, I mean, that one's all about gore. Even in the cutscenes, there's freaking gore. I think there was one where uh, this guy literally sawed them in half, but that's for AAA developers. If we're talking about indie games, I guess one that I could point to is probably Squad. Squad is actually using motion capture. I think I actually covered this in a previous video. It's honestly the best way to get a sense of how an actual human operates. Because in the past, when we didn't have motion capture, I believe you would have to physically like move them around with computer stuff. And I know that's I know for a fact that that's really tough to do. So motion capture really takes the edge off of actually making video games. And I think it's really great that uh, Void Interactive is taking a lot of time to make sure that you know the animations look really nice. And as you can tell by the motion capture video that they showed off, it looks really nice. Although I think that this is the AI, so I can't tell if this is an actual um, player. So I have no idea how that's going to work out. Motion capture is usually used for almost everything. They said that there's going to be a single player. I wonder if that's where it's mostly going to be used. Which opens up another question. Are there going to be cutscenes? Oh, I'm not entirely sure if it's actually going to be like one of those in-depth single players. I have no idea. I mean, I'm kind of hoping that there is, but uh, who knows. In motion capture sessions, movements of one or more actors are sampled many times per second, whereas early techniques use images from multiple cameras to calculate 3D positions. Often the purpose of motion capture is to record only the movements of the actor, not his or her visual appearance. This animation data is mapped to a 3D model so that the model performs the same action as the actor. So now I'm going to give you the advantages of motion capture. Motion capture offers several advantages over traditional computer animation of 3D models. Low latency, close to real time, results can be obtained in entertainment applications. This can reduce the cost of frame rate based animation. The amount of work does not vary with the complexity or length of the performance to the same degree as using traditional techniques. This allows many tests to be done with styles or deliveries, giving a different personality only limited by the talent of the actor. Complex movement and realistic physical interactions such as secondary motions, weight, and exchange of forces can easily be recreated in a physically accurate manner. The amount of animation data that can be produced within a given time is extremely large when compared to traditional animation techniques. This contributes to both cost and effectiveness and media production deadlines, potential for free software and third party solutions, reducing cost. Now I'm going to tell you the disadvantages. Specific hardware and special software programs are required to obtain and process the data. The cost of the software, equipment and personnel required can be prohibitive for small productions. The capture system may have specific requirements for space it is operated in, depending on the camera field of view or magnetic distortion. When problems occur, it is easy to reshoot the scene rather than trying to manipulate the data. Only a few systems allow real-time viewing of the data to decide if the take needs to be redone. The initial results can be limited to what can be 
performed within the capture volume without extra editing of the data. Movement does not follow the laws of physics, cannot be captured. Traditional animation techniques such as added emphasis on anticipation and follow through, secondary motion or manipulating the shape of the character, as with squash and stretch animation techniques, must be added later. If the computer model has different proportions from the captured subject, artifacts may occur. For example, if a cartoon character has large, oversized hands, these may intersect the character's body if the human performer is not careful with their physical motion. Video games often use these motion captures to animate athletes, martial artists, and other in-game characters. Well, I hope you liked the information that I got on Wikipedia to tell you guys. Motion capture is going to be really awesome for it or not. I hope you liked the video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye